Well, we're at Steinway Hall, across the street from Carnegie Hall, and uh, I'm sitting here with Rio Mangini. How are you doing, Rio? Good. You can say hi to our friends here. Good. And hi to our other friends there. Hey! So, uh, Rio recently had a birthday. He's now nine, freshly uh, nine after, what, I don't know, three, four weeks ago, right? Uh, four weeks? I was in October 6th. You're like a foot and a half tall, and this piano is like a hundred feet long, and yeah. you dominate this thing. So, I'm going to talk to you a little bit. Before I do anything, I would love to hear you play uh, a little piece. What are you going to play? Um, Invention 13 by Johann Sebastian Bach. Invention from Bach. <coughs> Fantastic. Just so you know, before he even begins, I want you to see something. I'm just a regular guy, about 6'5", and I, these are my hands. Hold up your hand next to mine, your other hand, the one with the thumb on the same side. Okay? So, a, a piano is, is a series of, of octaves, right? Each, each uh, octave is eight whole notes. It goes from here to here, right? So that's a normal sort of range for a hand to reach on a piano. This little hand, put it up again, the other one. Look at the size of this. Here, go to here, right? Keep this one there. This little hand, instead of him just automatically being there, right? He's actually got to move a, an enormous distance every time. It can go an octave, he... but it's, it, can, it can go on the side. Like I'm just going to get out of his way. Go ahead. Let, let's hear Invention from Bach. This is Rio Menji. Outstanding. Nice work. Give me five there, pal. So, you've answered these questions a million times, but I'm, I'm going to ask you anyways. Let's get through some, some basic questions. You're nine years old. You've been playing since? Five. Okay. Uh, who taught you? Um, I have two teachers. Yeah. Miss Jane from Yamaha right. and Miss Han. Miss Jane from Yamaha? She's Russian-Armenian, right? Yeah, Russian, and she mixes up Armenian. With right, her. she gets it all mixed up. But I know that she's an unbelievable teacher. And who's your second teacher? Um, Miss Han. Miss Han. And mm. uh, she goes at the Culburn School. Right. And, and you, that place is strict. Yeah, very, well, you're playing classical piano against, uh, you know, some of the classic. Miss Jane is the one out there, but Miss right. Han is still in L.A. Right, right, right. Now... Each song that you play, you probably learn uh, from from scratch, right from the paper, from the notes. Do you actually do paper nope, music? No, I hear her. Am I keeping you up or anything? I hear. <laughs> no. I don't. I copy what she's playing. So you just listen. Really? Yeah. Do you know notes? Can you read music yet? Oh uh, yeah, I know how to read music. But you prefer just to hear her play, yep. and then she play, and then you play. Yep. Usually my mom plays a game. She plays a note, and then I can identify what that note is. Well, you know what that's she's called, playing. right? No. It's called Perfect Pitch. Perfect Pitch. Can we try that? Can I play one? Okay. So you look at me. Don't look at the keyboard. Okay. No, actually, face that way. Face that camera. And I'm going to play a note. And you tell me what that was. G. Wow. All right. I'm going to play another note. Um, D. <laughs> this kid's for real. All right. Last one here. I'm going to throw it. Throw it. Can, I, can I play uh, Sharps and Flats? No way. Okay, yeah, no, that's that's tough for a perfect pitch, but how about uh, can I throw an octave there in somewhere? That's an easy one. C. Yeah. How about well, one last one, last one. I'm, can I throw you just a two part harmony? Isolate them in your head. C and G. <laughs> nice work. Now I am seriously impressed. That's a talent that uh, you were definitely born with. Lucky you. Wow. All right, so let's play another piece here. I want to play 
Um, I want to play. I want to hear you play. I, I, actually, I do want to play what you're playing. Um, this is what you're going to be playing across the street at Carnegie Hall in this international competition that you're about to be in. Is that correct? Yes. And this is called uh, Etude? Etude for Ten. This is Chopin, right? Yeah. Chopin. We saw a little head of him in there, remember? All right. Yeah, right, sure. Right. Okay. All right. So this is uh, Rio Mangini playing Etude. Not really prepared, but I'll try. Well, I'll just you know, wing it. I'm sure you'll stumble through. Okay. All right. Standing. You know how many people are going to be standing on their feet screaming when you play tomorrow? Do they do that in Carnegie Hall? I don't know. It's probably not accepted, but if I was there, and actually I'm going to be there. I'm totally going to, if there's going to be one guy standing in the audience, it's going to be this tall dork going, Rio, it's all good. <laughs> Show him your shirt and let's see what he says. All right, so I want to ask you one, one or two more questions. Is that okay? Can I give you a couple yeah. of questions? I'm watching how your piano teacher and your mom handle you, and you are so lucky to have just, they let you be you. I can see that. Do you ever feel like too much pressure to play or anything like that? Yes. You do? And what do you do when that happens? Uh, usually I have gloves before a performance to keep my hands warm. When I have my hands cold, I can't I know. play. They just stay on the note. Right. It's like they're, they're in quicksand. They're numb. Yeah. Cement. Usually when I play real fast, like not this, I'm not going to play right now, but if it's yeah. too fast, my hand starts to wear out. Right. So what do you do? How do you take a break? What do you do to keep your hands fresh? What's over there? I don't know. All right. So tell me, what do you do to keep your hands like from getting too worn out? Uh, or if you get too tired well, playing? Well, my mom does an exercise. She holds my hand. She, and if my hand, she um, throws them, like catches them, and, right. and they land back in her hand right. like this. Right. My arms right here. And if they feel like they're tensed, she starts from the beginning and just makes them relax, oh. feel heavy. Right. Like like yoga or something. Yeah. Right. Okay. So nine years old. Uh, let me, if I think back when I was nine years old, I th you, most of your friends are probably dealing with video games and bicycles and skateboards. Uh, no. um, c um, my friends Cooper, Drew, Matthew, Luke. and Ellery. No, not Luke. Not Luke. Okay. They, they, those are the musicians. Matthew plays piano, Cooper plays piano, Drew plays guitar and piano, wow. and Ellery, I think, sings. All right. You know what? I'm going to squeeze one more song out of you before we stop here. Tell me, uh, what would you like to play? What if, if you could play anything in the world without having your, your piano teacher or your parents say, practice, 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 what song would you play? Soffleggetto. That's what I would play. It's a really fast song. All right, we're, we're warmed up. Rio Mangini playing Soffleggetto. Soffleggetto. That's what I said.
I'm speechless. I, I could sit here and say all kinds of fantastic things about Terry Rio, but you just said it all. I appreciate you coming on Step Go Live, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow at Carnegie Hall. I have never said that before in my life. I'll see you tomorrow. Wish me luck. <laughs> Wish me luck. Good luck, Rio. It's Stipco Live. We'll see you next time. Say bye. He's a star, superstar. Of course, I know that because I'm his manager. You know, what can I tell you? Amazing, Rio. Well done. He did it brilliant, and I'm very proud of him. And he did his best, and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm so happy. You, you can't ask a dad that question because he's my son. I love him. his performance at breakfast is genius, so uh, it's all beautiful. <laughs>